Oh my God, we're back again with the Vintage Cube. I could not be more excited for Vintage Cube time. For the next like three weeks, my dudes. God, you guys are going to get sick of it. You guys are going to be like, I'm Vintage Cubed out. And I'm going to be like, no, you're not, you fucking liar. And then you're going to be like, uh, you're right. I know. I like Noble Hierarch. I like Duretti and I like Woodfall Primus. It's great now. It was bad, now good. Yeah, and the thing that we were talking about Fallout 76, and I'm thinking of, cons I'm cons like, it's like 14 bucks right now. There's no monthly fee or anything, right? But, like, I've heard a lot of it plays like a single player game now, and that's all I want is single player Fallout mm -hmm. games. Like, that's like my bread and butter in terms of, like, gaming. Like, that's what I love. I love Fallout and I love single player stuff. So, is the audio scratchy? I don't. I don't think it is, but, you know, maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, have you played through the Outer Worlds? Yes, I have. I thought it was great. And it really scratched that that Fallout itch. I'm taking Duretti. We're not here to be to be cowardly. Ooh, and a Mind Twist right after a Duretti? That's not bad. Time Warp, Control Magic, Talarian Academy is pretty sweet. Uh, Golgari Signet puts into Jund. So we got an audio is crisp and an audio is good. So I'm pretty sure it is just you, Mediocre Magic Man. Maybe you're a Mediocre Headphone Man now. Did you ever think about that? Got him. Arena Cube looks different today. Oh my fucking God, you people. Why are you like this? Uh, I'm taking Mind Twist. Mind Twist is a strong card. I mean, I know I know, I know, know people like Luis don't, don't think it's that great, but... Mind Twist is still a, a back-breaking, vintage cube, experience-defining card, so. Oh, I like a Bloodstain Mire. Katie's been having a, a rough couple of days. She's just been a little sad for some reason. She's had a lot of sad cases at work. You guys should send some love in the chat and I'll send it to her. I want to take this Bloodstained Mire. Because, you know, you got Duretti and Mind Twist, so. Normally I would agree about being mediocre headphone man, but today I'm using my girlfriend's AirPods. I love AirPods. I, I don't even own an iPhone and I use AirPods. And um, I also, I do have an I iPad, so... You know. Oh, Liliana. Interesting. Murderous Rider is always just fine. See, the thing is, once I take this black and, and red card, I want to take blue as well. And I just want to be a, a, a Grixis deck. Hmm, 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 hmm. Do, 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 do. Or we could just be a reanimator deck. What if we take this card and they're like, yeah, let's take Liliana. Liliana's a strong lady. <sighs> this pack's not super exciting. I could see taking Wandering Fumeral just to hedge on the, on the blue that I, I in my heart I want to be. I'm going to do that. Also, like, the, the reason you want to hedge towards blue is just because Ancestral Recall and Time Walk are so powerful that, like, you know, if you don't take them, if you, if you don't, like, then you don't want to open pack two and three, open one of these two cards, and then, like, not be able to take it. And then Scarab God is just a really satisfying blue card. Thank you! Dan of Clan Nelta. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Oh, look, Krark the Thumbless is in this cube. Now, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, if you lose the flip, return the spell to its owner's hand. If you win, copy the spell. So 50% of the time, your spells are going to get cast. I'm going to take Inquisition. I think Inquisition is actually very good. Oh, what up, TMO?
Uh, Fatal Push? Sure, we'll Fatal Push. I don't think we're Eternal Witnessing. There's a lot of good white cards, and I really kind of like the Mardu deck, like that Mardu mid-range control deck. But we're clearly not on that path. There was also a Vindicate going around. Um, Doretti's our only red card. We could actually just... I don't, I don't love Rager. I feel like P and Kieran Alar goes well with our deck. Sure. There's Council's Judgment. You know what? No longer. Oh, and here's the Vindicate. All right, so maybe... <laughs> Murderous Rider comes back? Sure. I mean, now we're on either are the blue for Scarab God or white for Council's Judgment Vindicate. Mask Worm? Sure. Oh, Agadim's Awakening is just fine. <laughs> Krark, not so... I don't know why they put this in the game. It's kind of funny. I mean, I guess if you cast... I guess the thing is, if you cast Ancestral Recall with this guy in play, like... The worst that happens is it goes back to your hand. It doesn't get countered. So, like, eventually you're either going to... You're either going to get two Ancestral Recalls off of it. You said it, too. I, I really... Is it is it a Storm card? I mean... It feels like a worse Storm card because, like, you're not guaranteed to hit your... Like, if you pay three to play Yawgmoth's Will and it doesn't resolve, like, it goes back to your hand, like, that's it. You need that mana. You're like, oh, I don't have the mana anymore. This pack's actually very good. Creeping Tar Pit, Shotlock Isle, Emrakul. Emrakul, dude. Entomb... I think I'm taking the Creeping Tar Pit. We have no reasonable way to cast these just yet. Oh, I like a Demir Signet. Chupacabra might come back. Uh, I'll just take Demir Signet. Seems like a very easy choice there. Remand seems fantastic. I like a Remand. I like an Angras Rampage. I have not started on Cyberpunk yet. I haven't even... It's installed. It's up to date. I just haven't had the... I don't know, man. I've been kind of afraid to play it. I don't really want to get into it and be disappointed. Wow. Demonic Tutor? Sure. Is anyone else black here? Who we got here? Yeah, we're definitely taking Demonic Tutor. Another Duretti. A Thran Dynamo. Interesting. I also like Null Priest of Oblivion a lot. Like paying six mana for Null Priest to get back like Massacre Worm or something is pretty sweet. I don't really care about tendrils. Like we don't really have any strategies with Duretti right now. We don't also have any strategies with Thran Dynamo, but we can sack it to Duretti. We can also use it to ramp up to Mind Twist. I'll take Thran Dynamo. I think the upside is higher. Lightning Bolt is nice. Dress, Lightning Bolt. I'll take Lightning Bolt. We already have Inquisition. We have a ton of removal. We have Fatal Push, Lightning Bolt so far. Murderous Rider, I guess. Duretti, Liliana. Not, not not a lot of removal. It's a good amount of removal, actually. Um <laughs> Deceiver Exarch's interesting because we could definitely pick up Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki. Dig through time also seems fine. Yeah, I'm going to take Dig Through Time. Well, nothing exciting here. I'm 
Maybe we'll take Sling Gang Lieutenant. Oh, uh, Heartless Act is nice. Inkle Leviathan, do we have any reasonable way to get this into play? Not really. Entomb is actually pretty sweet. Let's take Entomb. Oh, Troops came back? Oh, let's take Ashen Rider for sure. We just took an Entomb. We also have Massacre Room. Akarat is a discard outlet. Angress Rampage is nice if we want to kill a Planeswalker. Yeah, I'm going to take, take that Angress Rampage. Uh, Rakdos is returned. We do have Mind Twist. I'm just going to take Ophiomancer. No Priest came back. I mean, if we're on the discard reanimate plan, that's pretty decent. We also have, like, Demir Signet and Thren Dynamo as ways to play it on, like, 5 or 5. Yeah, Dire Fleet Dire is pretty sweet. Um, I would like some more fixing lands. I don't think we've seen a single actual dual land. This is why you go into the blue, guys. This is why you do it. All oh, this pack is fantastic. That's Karn, Primeval Titan, Fracture Identity. We're definitely taking Time Walk. Ain't no question about it. I mean, Bermez may be the last card of Pax very frequently, but I mean, that doesn't mean he's not worth playing. Like, I think he's still a fine addition to the cube because you need it for the mono white deck. It just means that probably no one is drafting mono white in this particular pod. We got Ophiomancer. Null Priest has Menace. P and Karen Alarm make Thopters. I'm gonna, you know, you guys know we're taking Fallen Shinobi. Like, there's no real question here. Recurring Nightmare. Huh. It is unfortunate we passed Bitter Blossom. I might actually like through the reach better with Ashen Rider. Man, we has the Emrakul too, and that's unfortunate. Also, Thieving Skydiver is fantastic. So, there are three very solid picks in this pack. Thieving Skydiver also lends itself to Fallen Shinobi. We can steal our artifact and bounce the Skydiver, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm actually going to take Thieving Skydiver here. The, the, I think actually um, Ophiomancer might even come back. Not Ophiomancer. <laughs> Recurring Nightmare might even come back. So we have, if we wanted to take Recurring Nightmare, we have Duretti, P and Karen LR, Sling Gang, and Ophiomancer. Which is a decent number. I mean, we can take Verdant Catacombs and hope to just get a, a land that we can cast with it. I don't think we're an Ugin deck. Oh, and we hedge on Badlands, then we hit the Badlands. It's actual perfect. There's a Splinter Twin, but yeah, we're just taking Badlands here. Oh, I think Collective Brutality is probably fine here. I don't know if we're going to main deck it, but... There's an Ulamog. Hmm. I'll never be able to recur it, unfortunately. I mean, off-color Signet's meh. A Prowler's probably just better because it lets us discard Ashen Rider or Mask Room. 
Animate dead is pretty sweet. Let's take an animate dead. Because right now we actually don't have many reanimate things other than Null Priest. And we're kind of hoping that the... Wow, Blightsteel Colossus, huh? We have no way to get this guy in play, right? I mean, we're still going to take it. It's the only card that I can even consider in this pack. Lava Claw Reaches is nice. Okay, picked up some decent lands here. And Recurring Nightmare did come back. That's incredibly disrespectful, but I accept it. Scrubland? I don't think we're a living death deck. We're just not... We don't have enough creatures for it. I'll take a Scrubland. I mean, it could easily have a Splash the Vindicate. What if that Orzhov Signet comes back, too? That'd be pretty pretty nice. Hmm. Hey, Bone Shredder. Corpse Dance. Wow, someone's getting a last pick. Mishra's Workshop. Oh boy, you can tell it's the beginning of the Vintage Cube season. We're going to take Dig Through Timeout. Double Blue seems a little rough. Um, I mean, Sling Gang and P and Kieran are now great with Recurring Nightmare. I mean, all these cards seem good. Oh boy. Oh, what up, Tim? Um, I'm gonna take Inquisition out, I guess. This makes two guys, this makes two guys. This is easier on the mana. The problem is this, oh, we don't need Thrand Dynamo, I guess. It's not really doing anything for our plan. I mean, the thing is, Pew and Kernel are make flyers, which is much better for Fallen Shinobi. I'm catching the stream two days in a row. That is a Christmas miracle. Um, we need one more cut. Liliana's a sweet discard outlet. Luna's Prowler is a discard outlet. Mind Twist doesn't seem great. You're right, that does seem bad. I mean, at worst, I pitch it to, like, Liliana. <laughs> this is a rough cut. I have no idea, like... We can also play Agadim's Awakening, which we will. Do we just play 41, guys? 41? Mind Twist is a discard outlet. I like that we only have four blue cards right now. Five blue cards. We have one, two, three, four, five blue sources. I think that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What? Sixteen. One, two. I could see cutting push. You know what? I'm game. Sixteen lands and an Agadim's Awakening. We have six sources of blue. I added three islands. You gonna me me na na ma ma. But do 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 do. Why is it taking so long? I don't understand. This is ridiculous. All right, let's do it. Would you like to play first? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't get a blue with this, but we still can entomb and then tutor for something. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this for sure. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. He's like, you're, I'm like, yeah, buddy, I know. Listen, listen. <laughs> good luck, have fun. We have a good time. We have a good time in the chat. We're making, oh yeah. Guys, what are we putting in the graveyard? Is it going to be... Let's put Ashy in here for now. Oh, a wandering fumarole, eh? Let's go get a B lands. Whatever's going to happen next is not going to be good. They know, like, so the thing is, you're playing Vintage Cube, you know what I just did. Oh man, they're going to get in there too. Thank you. I'm predicting a date. Antibody, thank you so much for the resub, but or the gifted subs, my dude. Antibody, you thank have been going you. crazy, my dude. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm gonna spin the top. Thank you. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Thank you. <laughs> fair is fair. What do I owe ya? Thank you. Let's get rid of old Ailando. Ailando! This is my friend Ailando. Also want to be number one one last time. This Dude, I appreciate you, buddy. You are a wonderful human being. Uh, I'm going to discard a remand here. I th Actually, we'll discard Skydiver. I 
think I have to blow my nose and it's going to be gross. So I'm going to like not show you guys. Gary. So I just get to run roughshod over this planeswalker, right? G -g -g Gary. Man, we got rid of Thieving Sky ever right when they played Mock Sapphire. Where's the justice? Oh, they discarded a Blightsteel Colossus. That is fascinating. All right. Well. <laughs> Antibody, your humor is just fine, my dude. Just fine. Just fine. Rex Sage. Oh, I got a little Prowler. Oh, a Doretti Spaghetti. Interesting. One, a two, a three, Doretini. Create a one, one. I mean, we can kill the, the Mox Sapphire. But I don't know if I want to get rid of my Demir Signet to do it. We could Angrath's Rampage it. I seem to have confused... Oh, you did. You totally did. You're like, I'm going to say something. And you have to guess what it is. And I'm like... I thought you were going to say the quote and then I have to guess where it's from, but I, you literally wanted me to guess what you were going to say. And I was like, this is impossible. Yes, I accept. Uh-huh, I understand. You and Robbie. <laughs> oh, little Robbie. I mean, they have three forests. I can't imagine that this was not a mistake. Okay, definitely. Okay, sure. So that was definitely a mistake. Let's 
get in there for seven. Or we're going to get in there for five. I think they're just going to pitch something. Oh, okay. One of my cats has found a route to get up to the treats on my dresser, and the other cat is watching longingly from the floor, hoping to get some. Love it. Deranged. This is a good one. Verdant catacombs, you can get a mere swamp, unfortunately. play this guy and this so we can double block the forest if they want to attack with it but if they play another planeswalker i do want to have an answer for it Frailies. Okay. Say this is why we kept the old uh Okay. Attack you with both. We actually could have killed this and then made sure they didn't block here. That would have probably been the better play. Because that way we win. And Vintage Cube is a farm where you really don't want to give them. We could have also attacked with one or if you roll. Okay, they're just going to take it then. Well, we got lucky. Uh, Inquisition seems decent. Do we have anything that kills Planeswalkers that we do not have in the deck? No, everything that kills Planeswalkers is in the deck. Alright. Uh, I don't think we're adding anything here. Fatal Push probably seems decent here. Yeah, okay. We'll give it a shot. <whistles> we 
We're gonna play Lava Claw Reaches first because it's our only red source. We have other blue sources that we can play if we really need a blue source. Oh boy. Yep, opposition is pretty good. Yep, that might be the end of the game. <laughs> yep, yeah. all right. Kill a land, tap your other two. Seems good. This is the first day of Vintage Cube. Yeah, I feel like we're doing worse now. Boom. 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 Man, in a perfect world where we get to have Massacre Worm. Oh, 
Tap of your prowler, huh? Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. What's our record so far? We're up a game. I'm heading out to work, so if I don't see you before then, I wanted to say, Shanal, thank you so much for the support, man. Thank you for uh, being around, I guess, and I really appreciate you, buddy. I hope you have a great holiday, and I will be I will be here tomorrow, and I will probably stream at some point on Christmas Day as well. So, if you guys are uh, if you guys are here, we can make it happen. They're at six. Wow. <sighs> All right, they're at five. Composition is such a fun... I agree with you. But on the same hand, it's real hard to get mad because it's Vintage Cube. You're like, this is what you, you... You come in expecting this. You knew what you're getting into, you know? Okay. Well, I guess they get to go up to eight now. That's a free card off of Opposition. Or Sullivan Library. <laughs> opposition doesn't draw you cards. That'd be too good. Oh, Matthew Elk Tears, what up, my dude? Time walk and leave me one land. Okay, they're not going to leave me any lands. They're just locking me out of... Next card, time walk? Nope, okay. Well, unfortunately, our deck does not have a great answer to... In opposition, like we can vindicate it. Collective brutality is not going to hit it. Vindicate it! <laughs> uh, we're not going to play. Council's judgment. We're not going to splash double white. Like the odds of us getting double white before they can lock us out with with the opposition is extremely low, my dude. I think we're just going to go for it. Yeah, this seems fine. Fatal Push and Angrass Rampage actually pretty decent. We can drop a Null Priest and uh, probably deal a good amount of damage. A side deck? You son of a biscuit.
comes to just an old priest here. I think getting that guy off the board is probably more important. Yep. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Unforgiven. Happy holidays. Just got my Christmas. Dude, I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you, dude. Merry Christmas, and I'm so glad you got a bonus, buddy. The, the, you guys giving you guys donating in, in such a fashion is literally the way I get my bonus. So it's it's literally just paying it forward. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You are also unforgiven. So I am the unforgiven. That's a Metallica song. You guys heard Metallica? Oh, this guy. This old chestnut. This old Johnny Chestnut here. Okay. Oh, wow. Into Ancestral. Hmm. Phenomenal. Oh, I like a remand here. <sighs> Just play Null Priest here and keep up remand. That seems fine. Draw two cards. I dare you. I dare you. Didn't draw any cards? Unbelievable. You got it. Oh boy. Oh boy, things are happening right now, man. Mm hmm. Ooh, -wee, Rick. Yeah, that's fine. Y'all got any of them time walks? Well, we're definitely playing that for a land. So we can go Angrath's Rampage, kill one of these, and then kill the other one. Question is, do we attack with this or just play Sling Gang? It's probably Sling Gang, right? All right. Well. No, but I can see me doing that. I will choose to draw with Sylvan Library. Uh, I have uh, Narset out. Yep, you got it. We're untapping some, some landy boys. Questing beast. Eternal witness. Get back. Let me guess. Ancestral recall. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, drawing six extra cards a game is a real ticket to win. 
Can I just draw a massacre room here? Because that would be... That would probably win me the game on the spot, I believe. That's not... It's not a massacre room. I don't know why you'd... Hmm. 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 So they block here, they take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They go to two. If we don't block they take four, five, six. They actually have to block a goblin here, right? They have to block the wandering femoral, actually, so. Mm-hmm. That was loud. Little Coda Slobra? Okay. Okay, don't know what's going on here, but it's kind of fucking annoying. That's <laughs> what it sounds like when I order food from DoorDash. <laughs> All right, man, I get it. You confirmed it. You're on your way. You're approaching. All right. Jesus. You got it. They've drawn like nine cards more than us this game. So that's pretty good. Fucking Christ. Oh my god. I guess that's fine. I don't know. <sighs> cool. Yeah, I did. I got the secret layers like two days ago, which is pretty sweet. This is like six damage here, which is kind of... Pretty sure I don't know how we win this game, to be quite honest. Also, they have Ultimate Garrick next turn. So a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's twenty-two damage. We're not. We wouldn't be dead. Mm 
Well, we can't really attack here, so... Oh, what up, Chorwit? Kill Lotus Codus Lobra here. Doom, 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 doom. So we're like eight here. I mean, this isn't actually terrible. Unless they also flash in a Crater Cove Behemoth. Yeah, they all have trample. Both of these are going to Duretti, too? Okay. Sure. I mean, it's really hard to win games where your opponent gets the Ancestral Recall twice. I don't know what to tell you. Like... We're going we're gonna to draw Ashen Rider here. And then we're just going to scoop him up and go to, go to round two. They just had no hits. Okay. Sure. Okay. All right. Let's try again. Maybe our opponent will not draw nine cards more than us. What can you do? Boy. This hand's good if we can hit one land. But I ain't banking on that. This hand's fine. We can put Sling Gang back. Actually, we'll put Liliana back, right? Sling Gang works really well with Recurring Nightmare. So does Entomb. Are you saying that drawing more cards than your opponent leads to increased chance of victory? hard to say keep Why did it take them so long? I don't understand. Uh, Liliana was the choice.
we're going to need one more mana for that guy. Yeah, we're going to take a gamble here, because we have the mana for both Skydiver next turn to steal this and Sling Gang Lieutenant. So, they're going to have to have one turn to deal with our Recurring Nightmare. Can they do it? These are the questions. <sighs> yep, that is not a dude I care about. Scooby Oh, guy is cradle off the tippity tippity top okay so we're gonna go land cast with kicker one two three four steal that bad boy get this bad boy back kill this bad boy we know they're gonna draw cradle here Next time we can go Nightmare, sack this guy to get the Skydiver back. Kill another thing. And we get to keep her manned up. <laughs> Gambling if the opponent doesn't have it. Talk about big risks. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Wow, solid rounders quote. <laughs> uh, oh boy, two rounds in a row playing against Nissa. Sounds good. I mean, we have Ashen Rider, so that's okay. One, two, three, four. So I don't feel like killing this. I'm probably just going to go face. I really kind of want to kill this. Actually, let's go. Huh. Yeah, let's attack their face. I think we're just getting, I think we're just getting stupid skydiver back twice. What does that mean? No, not skydiver back twice. We're gonna sky We're gonna recurring nightmare twice. One is gonna kill Nissa. The other is gonna kill the island. I mean, this seems pretty good if we can keep doing this, right? Sixteen gigabytes equals an hour. Good lord.
I think 16 gigabytes is like four minutes for me. God, this is like the same deck. It's literally just the same blue-green deck with uh, with a version of Ancestral Recall with Nissa who shakes the world with Garrick Relentless. Garrick Wildspeaker, rather. I got my Garys confused. So now we'll attack Gareth. One of my worst papers just got accepted for... Oh, that's awesome, dude. Baron von Verham, congrats. I wish I had Sling Gang in the graveyard. One more land and we can do it, right? Oh, uh, let's kill this guy. Yeah, this is not fun for anybody, I'm sure, but... That's what it's all about. So this shuts off their guy's cradle too. So now they have three lands. So. Okay, four lands. Well, that didn't seem... We just played against the same deck basically twice. So... Did you try downloading more RAM? Usually, when you, if you download more RAM, usually that helps. Back from the manager queue, that dude was big mad we shut off his debit card. <laughs> Michael B, did you get any closure on those two issues that were making you mad? Recurring nightmare is something. He owed us like four months of credit card payments, though. Oh, God. What's the hold up here? <laughs> this is wild. My god, why is this, this draft has taken a while? <gasps> uh. 
Así sí. Did they just leave? I'm going to pause the game until they decide to show up. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, I mean, I'll keep this. I mean, I just use match time as bathroom time usually. I can just be like, be right back. Because unlike Arena, I can just take 10 minutes if I want to go to the bathroom. Huh. I mean, the only other creature we want to put in the graveyard is Massacre Worm. Bloodstained Mire, you can get a swamp, which is not super exciting. It been coming for some time. Yeah, you guys can still text Michael when he's in the bathroom if you want. Give me that thieving sky sailor. That's also fine. It's been coming for some time. I want to know who. Have you ever seen the rain? Oh, God. Way to go, Chaos Theory. Way to go. Thank you. Antibody with the gifted sub. Oh my god. You guys are wild. Love you guys. Love you, Antibody. You've been a friggin' wonderful. A friggin' wonderful. This is what happens. Our first game in both matches, we've gotten to do the cool shit that we want to do with our deck, including... Okay, so it's literally just back-to-back -back blue, green, Ancestral Recall, Garrick, Nissa decks. Got it. Got it. So this is going to be another game where our opponent draws at least six cards more than us. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Can't even really attack here. You know what's really you know what's really good to deal with stress and salt from these matches? Building Legos. Maybe that's true actually. What if I just make Legos my new thing? Okay, so we know they have Gargroth and four other cards. We have Ashen Rider, which is not ideal in our hand. We don't have anything like Una's Prowler or uh What's the other one called? Liliana.
Thank you. Jano, welcome back, dude. Really appreciate it, man. <laughs> we get more red in your draft. Hey, buddy, I got a mountain and two red lands right here. Look at these red goblins. We're doing good. We're having a good time. Let me guess. Yep, that guy, which we are going to immediately murderous ride. <laughs> We're going to murderous ride it. Whatever that means. Huh. Well, what do you do? <sighs> when murderers go on adventures, it's true. God, this is, I don't know what to do here, actually. Like, we could wait a turn in Una's Prowler to discard Ashen Rider to Null Priest, or we can just Null Priest with Mask Worm. That's our only blue source. I'll keep that up. Actually, we're not going to keep anything up. We're just going to play Murderous Rider here. Have you ever seen Mike B? Got an island. Eight cards in hand, huh? Okay. Do you play it from hand rather than the breeding pool on top of the library? All right. I have a confused, but that's okay. Well, this is a... Oh, we figured it out. We're doing we're doing the thing. Okay, wall of roots. Wall of roots. You guys ever call them roots? Look at the, look at the roots on that tree. Okay, none of this is super exciting unless you play a I don't really care about that, but I'll, that's probably what I'll kill. Well, lightning bolt. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody, yeah. But, 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 but. The problem is they have Wall of Blossoms, which I don't really care about. So we'd get rid of one, two, car two cards with Mask Arm. I'd rather just get rid of one with... <laughs> 
the problem with attacking with Prowler here is like they have Predator. Actually, if they block here and then they take one, I think we're just going to attack with both of these guys. <clears throat> Sorry to take a longer call. Me and my manager, Dylan, are going to have a virtual meeting and listen to the QA calls. Oh, that sounds good. Hopefully you guys can get it resolved. Let me know if you want me to hop on and I can tell him how mad you were. I can be like, Michael was so fucking mad. He was raging. He was so angry. I could, if that helps, you know, if you think that would help. Rock your body right. Back streets, back, all right. Let's get old Ashy. This is easily your most valuable thing. Is my is my volume too loud? It feels really loud. It's not loud. Okay. It feels like it's I feel like I'm getting real close to like clipping. lowering the gain just a little bit see if that helps is that better or worse i don't know let's find out have you ever fallen asleep on stream no no i stop streaming if i'm tired Well, there's the guy we're afraid of, right on top. Here we go. Let me guess, green sun for nine. Finale for for nine, for eight. Oh God, it never fails. Mind slaver with enough mana to take my turn. Nope, not doing that. Alright, so these games have gone pretty much how you expect them to have gone. I'm bringing Daggerfleet Daredevil in. You guys, they have friggin... Maybe take Remand out. I'm almost tempted to bring in Scrubland and a basic Plains just to play like Vindicate. Seems very greedy. Yeah, okay. We don't have a blue source, but we can draw things. Let's use a black instead.
I'm definitely bolting this as well. It's not bad. If you got a chance to catch them on Curse of Oak Island, no, I actually like to wait a few episodes. I like to have like a backup so I can so I can watch a bunch at once. So I think I have like three episodes in my queue right now. Yeah, that's fine. Can we just win with P and Karen Alar? Have you ever fallen asleep on the toilet? No, man. Like, if I'm ever... I don't have narcolepsy. Who is... Who do, Who does these things? Like... If you're tired, just don't fucking go to the bathroom. Just, like, f get out... Get off the toilet and go to go to your bed. This is, these, are, these are some wild questions. Well, three blue cards. Oh, I don't know why I didn't attack with Lava Claw Reaches there. It's actually pretty bad. I, I have lived such a life that I don't actually, I've never had to take public transportation that frequently. Like I'll usually only have to take it in like cities I'm visiting. I've, I've always owned a car and like I've always lived in cities where you kind of need a car like not big cities like suburbs and suburbs suburbs so no I've never fallen asleep on public train I've also always been with people so like they would be like hey wake up we gotta go oh goody ready random null priest that doesn't do anything here yeah blue source would be great here wow this has been a fun first vintage cube literally face the same deck twice they both have ancestral recall and crater hoof and garrick and nissa and uh we get mana screwed who could ask for anything more I'm just going to hold this because if they take our turn, they're going to want to like, if this is on board, they can go, if we hit a land, they can go Sacathopter, kill P and Kira, Sacathopter, kill Mel Priest. And that seems worse than like just having no targets here. Uh, we didn't Lava Claw attack because we might want to sack a Thopter and shoot something on their turn before they take our turn. Well, you can't target with Time Walk. Time Walk isn't target player takes an extra turn. It's just take an extra turn after this one. So. It's not like Ancestral Recall where you have to choose the person. interesting so now they can add three okay sounds good
literally the first time we've drawn mind twist in this entire draft. <sighs> cool. Yeah, the problem is other people doing shitty in events doesn't make me feel better, right? Like, if I'm in a shitty mood because, like, my opponent draws the actual nuts when their deck is the actual nuts, like, it doesn't make me feel better to know someone else is doing shitty. Like, that's just a weird thing, you know? Like, I'd rather you do better. That's always so weird to me when people are like, hey, if it makes you feel any better, I, I, bro I just broke my leg. It's like, no, that doesn't make me feel any better at all. Why would that make me feel better? That makes me feel worse. Cool. Go fuck yourself, Island. Absolutely go fuck yourself. Cool. One, two, one, two. Uh, first round, we were able to do what we wanted to do. The next round, our opponents drew uh, nine more cards than us in every single game and uh, got to mind twist our hand when they stole our turn. Sounds good. So someone is getting the luck. Thank, thank fucking God. Jesus. They do exist. Every time I see you seem angry at another cube draft. I mean, it's not I'm, not I'm not angry at the cube draft. I mean, I'm angry at the. I mean, if my alternative is playing standard, uh, or or regular drafts, I think I'd be significantly more miserable. So, I mean, it has nothing to do with cube drafting. It has to do with like the unreal luck and and you know the um in the the situation surrounding the specific game so cube is legit my favorite format like it has nothing to do with that it's just a matter of like well you know this is pretty fucking unreal unlucky so You can remind yourself that you never fell asleep on the toilet. That's true. I do actually tell myself that, and it, it really does help sometimes. Yeah, right. Like, that's the thing. Like, if, if my opponent drew an island, and the next turn I drew a mind twist, like, it's a completely different game. Like, the game is literally a different game. I mean, this is getting countered. So, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, like, we literally don't draw Mind Twist in, in six games. We went one, two, both, match, both matches. That was the sixth game we've played. We don't draw Mind Twist in five games. In the sixth game, the only time we draw Mind Twist is when I have five cards in hand, my opponent takes my turn, and I have five mana on board. <laughs> like, all right. Seems a little suspect. Wait, what is this? Why would you thirst? Why would you use the... Why would you play Monolith only to thirst? What? Wait, what? I'm very confused. My confusion level is 9,000. I mean, sometimes it's literally like, just like with the, the situation that happens is actually so astounding to me that it takes me aback. Like I'm like taken aback by it. Like,
<laughs> well, if they're looking for Tinker, they could literally just play him on the turn they Tinker. They could literally go one, two, three, Monolith, tap a blue in the Monolith, and, and Tinker, you know? So... Oh, we just win the game. They're like, if he activates Scarab God, I concede. I mean, they're if we like, let's say they don't, they don't block right. Then they take five, six, seven, eight, nine from this trigger, so they go to one, and then we do have Lightning Bolt. And if they if they actually discard a card to Prowl, they still take five, six, seven, and then we Lightning Bolt. So I mean, like, I don't know. I kind of want Collective Brutality against them. I'll just submit like this. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. I mean, Entombment to Lily seems pretty good. My wife is over here telling me about the stand, and I'm sitting here asking if she's ever fallen asleep on the toilet. <laughs> You might, you might, you might be a little obsessed right now. Well, I don't want to play either Lava Claw or Wandering Fumarole here, I guess. So, we'll just basic it up. I mean, I'm pretty sure the answer is always Ashen Rider. It prevents us from drawing it. It thins our deck. It gets us one step closer to drawing the beautiful uh, Animate Dead. Oh, look at that little guy. Can we kill it? We cannot kill it. Well, we can play this. Next turn, we can Thieving Skydiver. Maybe they don't have six artifacts in hand. Huh? Huh? Unforgiven. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Really appreciate you. This is, this is the first Vintage Cube so far, yes. And it has gone... Uh... <laughs> Interesting. They're just passing. Oh, I like a Doretti. Uh... Okay. You got it. I still feel like we're doing okay here. <laughs> Wait, what did they take? Liliana of the Veil. Buddy, I can't even cast that card. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Vintage Cube. This has been a Vintage Cube adventure with Frank Lepore. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, I don't... <laughs> Do you think they realize they're like, wait, I can't cast this. Wait, they can't cast that, and oh, they left them a creature so they can get back their Ashen Rider. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lilian is scary. I'll pick that. Wait, no. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to support on twitch.tv slash franklapore or patreon.com slash franklapore. You can, a dollar a month is really all you got to spend to support me, and uh, it goes a long way. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.